you know, I think from here on out, I'm going to wait to load up the 802 Mini until after I send out all the notifications. I think that might be slightly better. Anyway, what's up everybody? My name is Tentacle, and welcome back to more Sky Children of the Light. Yeah! We're finally back to this. And just in time, too, because we got ourselves a new season. I've heard some pretty mixed reviews about this season of nesting. But I want to check it out for myself. I have seen the cosmetics for the Adventure Pass this time around. So I'll be showing that off, too. But I want to complete the first task of the season first. Almost ran out of breath doing that. By the way, I also started some laundry beforehand. So if my washer and or dryer makes a lot of noise in the background, I do humbly apologize. Now then, who do we got in the chat? We got JD, we got Pugizzy, we got Prox, we got Squid, and I thought I saw someone else over here. Can't tell. We also have Lurkers. Welcome, everybody. And what's up, Coffin? Welcome to the stream. So, from what I've gathered, the season of nesting appears to be solely based within Aviary Village, which is where I am right now. Also, yes, I updated my Sky character's look once again. A while ago, I bought the Nintendo Switch exclusive pack, which gave me this unique hairstyle inspired by Link. It looks really good with the Days of Style mask, in my opinion. I also brought back the ocean cape from the Days of Nature event because this looks really freaking cool. I'm going to try this look out for a while. Now let's see what this new season has to offer. Is this our seasonal guide this time? Let's find out. If I could just... There we go! Yep, this is our seasonal guide. Hello there. Your workshop doesn't look very... I guess, clean. Did something happen? Also, what's up, Tuesday? How you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, I don't know if you guys heard, but yesterday, a rework for Undertow Spillway was announced for Splatoon 3. It's supposed to come out Wednesday night. I don't know if I'll be able to stream then, but I at least want to make a short about the update if it's worth making a short over. I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. What are you guys' opinions on the Undertow rework announcement? You sent this in the Discord, but Bluefin Depot better be next. Aw, I like the new Bluefin. But I guess everyone's got different opinions. I mean, you can if you want to, Pug Izzy, but this section is gonna be pretty short. It's gonna... It's not gonna take any time at all before I switch over to Splatoon 3 side order. Actually, hang on. This is a little quiet. I'm gonna... There we go. Now you guys can actually hear it a little better. So the idea of the season of nesting this time around is 
you're able to create your own cozy space. It's your turn to help decorate. And I guess for this first task, we're helping the seasonal guide first. Not really holding your breath for the rework, but you'll see. Yeah, me too, honestly. And for the seating... If this other person could get out of the way, this one looks the most comfortable. The nesting guide seems to agree. Choose a table. Definitely this one. My experience in Animal Crossing New Horizons should be of use here. Something isn't quite right. What do you mean? Do I have to do something? Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, nice! We get a free prop to use. And I guess we have to figure out where this stool is gonna go. Of course it's gotta go right here. It's the most convenient. The nesting guide approves. Your display is complete. Also, what's up, Bob? How you doing? I guess I should mention, yes, I will be continuing Splatoon 3 side order after I finish up here. I mean, we're almost done already, and I've only been at this for 10 minutes. So... Hmm. What else did I have to do? Oh yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. That's not the only thing that's been unlocked for this new season. If the game could stop lagging. What's up, Prox? Hi, Pugizzy. There's something else we get to do, too. Also, what's up, Deniu? Sorry if I butchered your username, but welcome to the stream. And what's up, Flagman? You push that little lever right here, and... Go back to the season of nesting room. The cozy space resets and you can decorate it however you please. There's even bonus space right here. You weren't expecting Undertow Spillway to get a revamp? Neither was I. I said your name right? Nice! Okay. I'll remember that. And from completing this, the workshop is now open. New furniture will debut regularly and return often. That's cool! Oh, okay. Yeah, I see how this works. Also, Pug Izzy, your Sky Kid is T-posing. This is so weird. Hang on. Are you seeing this, Prox? Are you alright there, Pug Izzy? Chillin' with the homies, yeah. There you go. You're all fixed on my end. I don't know what happened there.
I'm sorry, Coffin. I don't speak Spanish very well. I used to, but not anymore. What is happening? This update is so weird. Pugizzi's over there. Prox is over there. I gotta get out of here before this makes my stream implode. Sorry about the sudden flashing light. Now let's go see what these additional workshop cosmetics are all about because I hate to break it to you that's all you get from the adventure pass this season is all about decorating that cozy hangout space which I'm all for I like making shared spaces I just don't know if it's that worth it you know you can see what the items from the workshop look like whenever your Sky Kid carries them. So you got a long bed, a side sofa, whatever that thing is. It looks like a chandelier, a stump thing, a decorative branch, a hanging plant. A painting. And this thing. If you like Animal Crossing, then you'll like this season. Real quick, though, I do want to go back to the workshop one more time. Just so I can see what these items look like in person. Because now I know what they look like on my back. Yeah, I forgot about that, Bob. It's a good thing you reminded me. The weekend of Springfest, there is a partially random Salmon Run rotation. And, okay, I see where this is going. There are various themes that you can use to unlock the random stuff and somewhere within here oh coffin says they like my content oh you're gonna be translating that's very helpful Denny you thanks The partial salmon run rotation is on hydro plant this time. Yeah, that is true. And the king's salmon it is the megalodontia. So if possible, I want to stream that rotation on Friday. I want to also play Spring Fest with you guys for Team Bear Cub on Saturday. Maybe on Sunday too? I don't know yet. Sunday is up in the air right now. I can't really say why because it's a secret. You're a fan of your friends? Thank you, Coffin. But yeah, I think I have a rough idea of what I want to do in the workshop. I'm glad I was able to see what all these items look like. I really want to start with the loft, because you get that awesome bed, the cape, the three paintings, 
in this chair. Yeah. It might be worth it to get the adventure pass. This is one of my other in-game friends' shared spaces. Let's see. I'll get to your question in a second, Denny. You. My favorite Splatoon idol. I get asked that a lot, and... Short answer, I like all of them equally, but... For each of the three idol groups, if I had to pick one, I'd say Marie, Marina, and Big Man. In terms of the groups themselves, I like Off the Hook the most because I think their story is the most fleshed out of the three. We have the Octo Expansion to thank for that one. But I do think we're already going to be switching over to Splatoon 3 Side Order. This didn't take long at all. And in terms of design, yes, I like Deep Cut the most. So yeah. We're swapping, or no, we're changing over to Splatoon 3 side order now. I'm trying to see if I can find a way to incorporate what color chips I want to use into this title. There we go. Oh, uh, sorry, Deniu. I should have explained that. Uh, see this character in the bottom right corner of the screen? That's my PNG tuber. I have various sprites set to the number keys on my keyboard, and those display various emotions. So, for example, there's angry, sad, surprised, confused, and laughing. I try not to type out numbers using the six number keys that I have, but sometimes it it slips my mind. But yes, for this Splatoon 3 Side Order Dooley's run, I am going to be selecting power and mobility chips only. These are going to be the most powerful and fastest dualies you've ever seen. I say that because... The Duelies have an exclusive color chip. Extra Dodge Roll. And I want to be able to get that. You know what I'm saying? Let me also notify Twitter that we're live. Or swapping over. Sorry. There we go. Did that. It really depends on what artists offer that commission, Flagman. I was able to get my PNG tuber commissioned back in August of last year, I believe. Or no, August 2022, just before the Splatoon 3 Splatfest World premiere. And this was who made my PNG tuber. They're a very cool artist. They're also on Tumblr under the same username.
Let's not waste any more time, though, and get started on this Dooley's run. Also, what's up, Stephanie? How you doing? You joined us just in time for the Splatoon 3 section. We're going to be doing a power and mobility Dooley's run. Yo, 8, it's all riding on you again. Not all. You'll be there backing 8 up, right? Hmm. Okay, quick aside. There are some mobility and power chips that I'm not going to collect. Mobile drone gauge is one of them. I don't see a point. Sound wave damage is another chip that I don't want. I hate to do this, but I'm giving up. I am not going to be this unlucky. Also, what's up, Snow Jelly? How you doing? I refuse to get this unlucky. Maybe I should have just selected mobile drone gauge. There we go. Splash damage. Much better start. Let's keep this good thing going. And what's up, Morgan and Froby? Welcome to the stream. By the way, if you guys are new here... I would really appreciate it if you subscribed because I'm trying to reach 2,000 subs by the end of the year. And I'm already really close. This is one of the most fun Splat Zones stages in the game for me. If only because of all these guys. The whirling Accelerando enemies. And what's up, Eclipse Knight? Came in just in time for side order? Yeah, you did. It's time for a powerful mobility Dooley's run. You're not taking this away from me now. Thank you for the sub, Denny-U. You just got back from sewing a bag? Ooh, I hope you had fun with that, Stephanie. Did you guys know, by the way, in side order, the rush attack color chip benefits the reef slider? I didn't know that. I didn't learn that until a few days ago. I've got to get some main firing speed on this. Otherwise, we're dealing with splat duelies that have the fire rate of the Glugas. You get server split a lot whenever you're in and out of the nesting workshop. Is that what's going on, Pug Izzy? Because if so, then I don't like that either. All right, see you later, Denny-U. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Pearl? Where'd you go? Hang on. I lost Pearl. Where is she? I saw her for a second, I think. Oh. Seriously, where the heck is she? Get back here, Pearl. We got work to do. That was so weird. Rush attack also helps the ultra stamp. I did not know that either. So, tonight, I learned. I can't believe Pearl got stuck in a wall. I've never seen that happen. Oh no! 
We're not doing this again. I don't care how many attempts this takes. See, the thing is... This run is gonna be challenging because... Power and mobility chips are rare on the dualies. It's much easier to just get lucky or support chips. How much is the bias? I swear I have it maxed out. I'll have to look. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I have a better idea. I need to go back to Marina and see if I can restart one of these runs. That might be better than just giving up every time. Also, what's up, Ash? How you doing? Ooh, hmm. Do I have to disable the color chip bias hack? Because, yeah, it's maxed out. I'm going to disable that and see what happens. I'm not going to do the risky rewards thing. Because once you buy that, you can disable hacks anyway. So... I'll just, I'll start a run with this off and see what happens. You'll get a bunch of lucky chips otherwise. Ah, okay. I may have to do that for my charger run as well. All set, then let's hit it. Going up. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Mobile ink recovery. I've given up random runs so many times, I don't have any mem bucks going into this. Ooh, this secondary color looks really cool. Oh, sorry, Pugizzy. I saw your message there. I didn't mean to completely ignore it. Oh, you're just talking about server splits in general. Yeah, that can get pretty annoying. That happens to me way too much. It's especially happened in recent updates. Not just for the season of nesting. I hope that gets fixed soon. When you were trying to get specific color chips, you had to forfeit runs on purpose. Maybe try doing this as well. Ash, if you have the color chip bias hack enabled, try completely disabling it. That might help. It's certainly helping me. That does bring me to a good point, now that I'm thinking about it a little more. We only have two pallets left after this. The Charger and the Super Secret Final Pallet. Once I beat those, I want to try doing meme runs. I've seen quite a few. I know Vic Vion has done a randomizer run. Alpha Star has done a rainbow run. Things like that. You know what I mean? I think that would be really fun. But first, I want to beat all the pallets. Also, for this run, I will be selecting any floor. No matter the difficulty. Just so I can continue with my specific color chips that I said I would use.
I really hope we get some main firing speed at some point. Or the extra dodge roll chip. I swear, now that I know I can disable the color chip bias hack, if that's what helps me get the frickin' Brella cooldown chip, I'm gonna be sad. Swim speed up. Why not? I could have done the bonus. I admittedly didn't see it, but eh. I'll get another bonus in due time, I'm sure. I'm not trying to do this run fast or anything. I just said fastest in the stream title because I thought it fit the mobility color chips. Yeah, I don't like that either, Pug Izzy, when I play this myself. Ooh, you tried the randomizer run using a die? That sounds cool, Flagman. Hey, rush attack! If I ever get to use the reef slider, you guys will be able to see how much more damage it deals. Is that true, JD? Because I've heard lots of conflicting sources. I've mostly heard people say you do need the risky rewards hack. Others have said you don't. I bought it anyway just for... Just to make sure, you know. But I wouldn't be surprised if you don't. Alright, squid attack. Why not? I need to get better at doing dodge rolls in side order anyway. Yeah, I remember that, Eclipse Knight. If you want, you could try doing a side order run where you only select whatever weapon you're using. Or, the most common color chip of whatever weapon you're using. Wonder. Gotcha! And then can I get the other on the rebound? Nope. A while ago, by the way, I once got this floor with a don't use your main weapon challenge. I did it, but it was very hard as you can see. It's a little easier with the sponge blocks. Main firing speed! There we go! Now we're cooking with gas! And according to the preview that I saw of this run, it's looking like we're gonna be fighting Parallel Cannon and the Asynchronous Rondo. We are closer than ever to the firing speed that the duelies normally have. This is like splatter shot. Or maybe the junior. Oh, by the way, for the record, I know I brought this up earlier, but I'm going to be on team Bear Cubs for the Spring Fest. So, if you want to join me for that on Saturday afternoon, you'll need to be on that team. Ooh. Ooh. I'll do it, but I'm not gonna like it. Let's go, game.
I mean, whenever I did my Splatling run Eclipse Night, I only selected drone color chips. I didn't use mobile drone charge, but you can if you want. I thought it would be more fun to not use the mobile drone charge chip to challenge myself, you know? And I fell. No, you don't. I don't hate this level because of the sniper, guys. I hate him because of the sprinklers. Cruel Sisyphean 8-shaped floor is not the worst zones level in the game. It's this. I have no idea why they decided to put a rigorous zones level in the first 10 floors, but they did. If you don't have a weapon with an insane amount of range like the Charger or the Splatling, you are forced to go back and forth between each zone every time a sprinkler enemy appears. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. The worst part is, if you leave the sniper enemies alone for too long, they'll start immediately firing at you. They won't need to charge. So you gotta have a split conscience, as it were. I'm at one point left. You're not gonna stop me now. Get out of here, game. Over two minutes. I really don't want that to happen again next time I encounter that floor. More swim speed up. All right. Probably could have used the dodge roll or the squid roll, excuse me, during that encounter with those snipers. There we go, one down already. Chuck some curling bombs and be on our way towards the other two. Not like that, game. Let's go the other way. Oh, would you look at that? There you go. The last Splatfest was a good theme, but the tricolor map was garbage. Yeah, big agree. I really hope this one is better. We're two for two with really bad tricolor turf war stages in Splatfests. I really hope that changes. But here we go, time to fight Parallel Cannon again. You guys want to know something funny? Eclipse Knight saying something about the enemy log reminded me. I've done so many side order runs where I just focus on grinding specific color chips. I filled out every single enemy log. I'm not kidding. I have every single enemy log filled out, and I didn't even mean to. Let's wait for all of these guys to drop. Ah, too late. I waited way too much for this. And I'm going to get swarmed and pay the price for it if I'm not careful. There we go. And their leader has showed up. Yep, I already lost a life. Lovely. That's what I get for trying to do something funny. 
the game punishes me for it. Hey, there's room for only one Dooley's user on this battlefield, and that's me, so... You can get out of here, and then your friend can, too. There we go. Get out of here! You are not the real one. That was way more effort than it had any reason to be. Holy moly. Let's continue. Gotta say, you make that look easy. You don't get nervous fighting those things. They're a pain, but not really scary. Fighting Marina in that first tower was way scarier. What? what Really? Obviously. Wondering if you were stuck that way forever, never going back to normal? I was scared. Aw, Pearly. Uh, times like this, eight. I'm glad you're here. Oh boy, do they know. I'm actually not gonna take the vending machine here. I'm gonna save my membux and take rush attack again. I'll get the vending machine at the 15th floor. This one's just going to be slightly tougher because I'll have a bunch of snipers gunning me down. There's one. I love how the gelatins can also use the, uh, the bounce pads. I find that funny. Take care of this. Then you do this to get the big guys out of here. There we go. Who said you could stop moving? Also, welcome back, Coffin. Get rid of that. Can't get me here, gelatins. Or can they? Psych. Oh, that felt good. Give me more power chips, game. That's what I want to see. Yeah, main firing speed again. Although it's another, it's another tower level. All right, see you later, Flagman. Right then. How in the world am I gonna do this? Ooh, this is how. Okay. If I had way more special charge chips, I could have activated the reef slider there, but I think this will do nicely. Because we do that, and then... Yeah, they're all gone! Oh, I agree about the Days of the Weekend Splatfest being the worst one, Ash, but... I don't know what I'd consider the best one. A lot of them have been really good. I kind of like the spicy versus sweet versus sour Splatfest. That's the one that I felt was genuinely close. But then something happened and Team Sweet swept. More mobile special charge. But yeah, I liked the spicy, sweet, sour Splatfest the most because of the theme. Oh, 
Oh! Color chip saturation. Support? I guess. I didn't... I didn't know that. It's alright, Coffin. Don't be scared. I won't get mad at ya. I guess I got a lot of homing chips. Oh man, I should have put this song as my starting soon music. In the OST for side order, this song is called Routines 2. But replace the letter S with the number 2. Although, if I'm being real, I prefer Routines 1. You know what? Splash damage on a danger floor. Let's do it. Lights out on a turbine tower floor? That's alright. I can manage. I've cleared turbine tower levels easily. I would say this is a walk in the park, but this is more like a walk in the dark. Ha! Huh. Wordplay. Oh, jeez. You guys can kindly get out of here, gelatins. <laughs> Why did I do that? Right off the stage. Why the heck did I do that? That is not one of my finer moments. Splash damage plus rush attack is very useful for the reef slider, apparently. Almost did that on a full length tank. Whatever game, says you. Hold up, I got a DM. Hmm, I'll have to look into that later. There we go, finally, vending machine. What do you got for me this time, game? Of course, we're doing that. No need to replace my sub or special. No. Also, what's up, Big Shot? How you doing? More ink damage, though. That's what I like to see. And what's up, Tricolor? Tell you what, though, I know exactly what Splatfest needs. It just needs a better matchmaking system, first and foremost. But we also need a better points system. Giving the second place team points is a good idea. It's a start. But there are still going to be people that are like, oh, this was way too uneven or whatever. There needs to be some better points system if Nintendo makes another Splatoon game with Splatfests involved. Is that true, Big Shot? I didn't see that on the rework diagram. That's sad if it is true. Yeah, that's another good idea. Good point there, Tricolor. 
there needs to be a way for mirror matches in Splatfest to either have some sort of sway in the results or none at all. Wait, that came out wrong. In short, there needs to be a better way to handle mirror matches. I do agree there, Big Shot. I don't know why there's going to be another pole in the middle of Undertow. Not like it was tiny enough already. Would that work, Ash? I don't know. It's been so long since I've thought about the scoring system for Splatoon 1 Splatfest, I don't remember. Ooh. That's a, that's another good idea. Maybe for mirror matches, get like an automatic 50% boost to either the money or EXP you gain at random. And it's decided at the beginning of the mirror match which one gets boosted. Oh, I thought you were talking about my PNG tuber Eclipse Knight. Oh, you're talking about my side order Octoling. Her name is Emma. And what you see here is not her canon color scheme. If you want a better idea of what I want her canon colors to be, drone chip primary color, support chip secondary color. Yes, including the purple fingertips. I liked the purple secondary color so much, I made that cannon for Emma. I actually decided that on the first side order stream I did. Fastest portal level in the West. Are you ready? Let's go. Boom! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Let's freaking go! Eight seconds! Oh, baby! Once again, I'm not gonna be able to top that one for a really, really long time. Holy mackerel. Okay. Had to pause there, just in case future me wants to clip it. I should have uh, enabled my replay buffer. Oh well. How do you like that, though? You're kidding, right? Don't move in my normal form? If you insist, game... Good thing I've got so many power chips enabled already. I won. Oh, this counts! Uh, did not mean to do that. Sorry. Ah, sorry, sorry. I wonder if I can still have any amount of this bonus active. We're about to find out. Oh, no. Yeah, I deserved that. I did too, Tricolor, if I'm being real. It just stinks that so many enemies come out of the last portal that you tried to destroy. Let me recover my ink, game. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with the bonus. Yeah. This ain't happening. 
Dag nabbit. I hate it when side order gives basically impossible challenges on floors like these. Worth a shot, at least. I could always clean myself up on the 25th floor vending machine. Because now it's time for the asynchronous rondo. Yep. Sorry, I... Sorry I didn't see your message there, Ash. Hold on just a moment... There we go. Trying to clear out some notifications on Discord. There we go. Honestly, between you and me, I consider the Pinging Marcial to be the hardest boss in side order. That isn't the final boss, obviously. I don't know why. I always have the worst luck against it. Despite it having my favorite theme of the three bosses. Eh, I kinda hear it if you're talking about the noises the asynchronous Rondo makes. All of the bosses in side order or, I guess I should say this and uh, the Pinging Marcial. Their sound clips are just chopped up versions of off the hook songs. I believe the Pinging Marcial's voice clips are made up of really distorted clips from Ebb and Flow. There we go, easy peasy. That is true, Eclipse Knight. I wanna say I fought against the asynchronous Rondo in my all lucky chip stamper run. And it was so easy. Ooh, dodge roll attack, yeah. I already got that chip, but it's basically just the squid attack chip on your dodge roll. Look, see? And now we get the funny Paper Mario music again. I nearly got comboed there. Of course they went in separate directions. The Undertow Spillway rework isn't public yet, Big Shot. It only got announced. I imagine there will be several videos on it on Wednesday when it's supposed to go public. I know I'm gonna make a short about it at least, if I'm not able to stream on that day. More rush attack, yes! I wanna see how far I can get. Yeah, I feel the same about the pinging Martial tricolor. None of, none of the bosses are bad, but that one is easily the most tedious. Oh dear, I did not jump there. I don't know why. That did absolutely nothing! Okay, good to know. A 
Let's take care of that. And then this. I'll get back to the tower, don't worry. Also, what's up, Delta? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. And that was weird. My special gauge became full and then didn't for a moment there. It's like it decreased itself. Speaking of, let's do this. Because I'm about sick and tired of all these enemies over here. Look at how powerful that Reef Slider is, man. It's on par with smallest Reef Sliders. Speaking of, I wonder what the little, the little idiot has to say this time. And what's up, Trex? How you doing? Oh, you're Koyo. All right, good to know. Thanks for reminding me. I'm over here doing a Dooley's run of side order where I'm only selecting power and mobility color chips and it's going great so far. I'm not trying to do it really fast or anything. I'm just trying to have a lot of fun. over there, you stupid turbine tower. Thank you. Get those other enemies out of the way. Having poison ink active will be extremely useful. You're doing okay? Glad to hear. Better than doing bad, I guess. Or, excuse me, doing poorly. That's not correct grammar. That's what I said first. I love this all-powerful Reef Slider. I'll be getting new clear times like no one's business at this rate. Holy moly. Speaking of... The power. Give it to me. If this is what I think it is... Okay. Lucky color chip saturation. Give it to me. Yeah, Grisco Dooleys! Not really. Grisco Dooleys get extra dodge rolls, not extra firing speed. But still. Imagine if the Grisco Dooleys did get extra firing power too. Look at this! I'm melting these portals, man! This combined with the Reef Slider. Wow! I made a good choice here. Imagine what this is gonna be like when I max it out. And there's the last one. Also, congratulations on the Gold Marooners Bay there, JD. It's lame that Rush Attack isn't a power chip. Yeah, kinda. It makes more sense. I have the all-powerful Duelies! Main damage distant. Why not? I'll buy two. Because, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that'll be enough. Welcome back, Coffin. Anyway, Pearl is saying, made it, but we're not home free yet, eight. Even if you don't get all the way to the top, we're recording all your runs. If you talk to me outside of the spire, I can help you resume a run that didn't end so well. 
Then what do we got to lose? Might as well go for broke every time. <laughs> Not sure broke is what you should be going for. Another vending machine, but no, we just did our business on one of them. So, more rush attack! I want to see if I can get five of those. What's this one again? Oh yeah, this one. Actually, this one isn't so bad. I've seen worse. I mean, look, one of the infinity balls is already in, see? And then we just shoot the other one way over here. No, I said over here. Perfect. And then, reef slide. Come on. Tell me that isn't my best clear time. There we go, 27 seconds. Oh, you saying... You're saying you're close to it. Okay, that makes more sense, JD. Oh, <laughs> by the way, guys, if you're new to my streams, if you're lurking and are a new viewer, or if you're watching the stream VOD, you're gonna love the voice I give, Smallisk. It's kind of weird, the voice I give the Oct. Well, I kind of based it off of her appearances in the Octo expansion before we really knew much about her. That's where I was going with that. I know some people probably don't do that, but that's just my personal preference, you know. that not my fastest clear time on this floor? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, whatever. I'll figure this out eventually. Main damage close. There we go. Oh, wait. Did I select the floor? Please tell me I didn't. No, okay. This, this one's actually pretty fun. Look at that. Once again, I'm absolutely melting these portals and the enemies that spawn from them. You're not the first person who said that to me, Eclipse Knight, in terms of voice acting in general. I'm told I didn't do well as a voice actor. But I'm fine just doing my business on here, if I'm being real. I do appreciate the sentiment, though, if you guys have said that to me in the past. Those messages were not ignored. Tell me that wasn't my fastest run. There we go. Sub one minute. have to take a look at that later. Hmm. Sorry, just thinking out loud here. More main damage close. We didn't max out our main firing speed chip, but I don't care, really. We're still gonna absolutely beat the tar out of Smallisk. And hey, for our last regular floor, we get the funny madness combat music. Come on, tell me this <laughs> this fits in Madness Combat, because it does. This is Routines 3, by the way.
I swear I've imagined scenes from the Madness Combat videos with this song playing over them. It's great. I mean, that would be cool, Tricolor, but... The Side Order Squad escaped the members. It's not like the Octo Expansion where they escaped the Metro. It's different. So I don't know if that'll happen. That would be cool, though. Wow, this was a great run. And look, we're already at the top floor. Wow, sentient game. Now to take care of Smallisk and reconfigure that pallet. Yo, I've lost count of how many times we've pulverized that puny punk. When is it going to throw in the towel? It could happen, but it probably won't. Ah, uh, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I'll clean his clock. I already know whom we're gonna visit after the stream is over. By the way. Now behold my smallest voice! You're back again? Again? I told you everything already! Why must you return here to torment me? Oh, uh, are you really here just to say hi? Look, Smallisk, we told you the first time. Our only interest here is reconfiguring the pallets. What? Oh, I forgot. You don't get to do nothing to any pallets until we have a fight. And this is rematch number nine. Match number 10 in general, if you count my stringer run where I first beat Side Order. I made a good choice with these color chips. Check this out. Look at how fast I can demolish Smallisk. Boom, baby! I'll never give up, you hear me? Never! and I'm already right next to a portal. I don't care how difficult you're making this fight, Smallest, you are going down. Fall to the power of my ultra-fast dudes. This'll make up for all the time I lost in the other floors. Super chumps don't mean anything. Pepe Pepe Tui! Catch me if you can! I still got it. There we go. Of course, he uses the stingray. Stay away from me! He's actually scared, I don't believe it. He's gotta get some stable ground here. Clear out the enemies. He's actually putting up a fight. Come on! I wanna empty out my ink tank to defeat Smallisk. Oh, not quite. Okay. Brief slider KO. Not really. Oh, boy, that was satisfying. And a little bit deserved on Smallisks. And what do you got to say for yourself this time? Eh, I lost. I'm a big old loser. 
Oh, well, I washed, and that's all there is to say about it. Go ahead and do your thing with the palette. Hey, um, have you thought about not fighting us next time? Maybe? Don't be silly. If I let you reconfigure all the palettes, then I'd... Don't leave us hanging. You'd what? Bleh, forget it. You won't get me to give up that easily. I will eventually, Smallisk. I will eventually. Not my fastest run, but at least we got sub 30 minutes. My Octo Brush run was actually faster by two minutes. I will happily take that, though. Let's go, dude. But we're not done with side order just yet. We may be done with the stream, but not with side order. Because there's one weapon left. The charger. And I... Oh! I didn't know that, Coffin. That's cool. But yes, the last weapon I have for side order is the charger. And I'm doing a low hacks charger run. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do the risky rewards hacks right now. Just so I don't forget. I am going to be disabling every single hack except for one. And that's the max lives hack. I'm still going to have three lives because I do not trust myself at all to do this on one life. Every single other hack, fully disabled. This is going to be my hardest side order run yet. And how fitting that it's the last one before the super secret final palette. Oh, wait, I said I would keep this to three lives. But yes, that's all I'm going to be doing for this charger run. And you know what's even worse? When I eventually get to the super secret final palette, I'm going to do that one hackless. And nice, we got the Oct Banner. All right, I will happily take that. So let's go back to the plaza and the lobby, and don't go anywhere. It's time for the raid. Let me see. Is the person I want to raid still alive? Don't care about that. Good thing that's muted, and okay, they're still live. All right. Give me just a moment. Mm, excuse me. I had dinner before this stream. Oh, I don't know if you were here for this tricolor, but I'll happily answer. I am going to be on Team Bear Cubs. I'll be playing Spring Fest with you guys on Saturday and maybe on Sunday. I'm not sure yet. But yes, my next stream is either going to be on Saturday or on Wednesday. Because I want to check out the reworked Undertow Spillway. Maybe I'll finally play Cassette Beasts on Wednesday as well. Or continue Penny's Big Breakaway. I'm not sure yet. So, just know if I don't stream anything on Wednesday... There will be a short about the Undertow Spillway rework. And I'll stream Spring Fest on Saturday. But if I do stream on Wednesday, we'll be looking at the Undertow rework live. And I'll either play Cassette Beasts or Penny's Big Breakaway. 
Anyway, we're going to be raiding Otteron Gaming. I don't really know what he's streaming. I think it's Genshin. But either way, the link to Otteron's stream will appear after I end mine. And when you guys get there, I want you to type this custom raid message. Reef Slider Supremacy. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys back here with either Cassette Beasts, Penny's Big Breakaway, or the Spring Fest, like I already said. And I guess that's it. Until next time, this is Tentacle signing out. Take care, everybody, and have a great night. I'll change the stream title once I finish the raid. Anyway, goodbye, everybody, and good night.